What's going on guys? Well, it's that time again. Time for another battle box unboxing. So, this month's battle box came with a hole in it. Hopefully nothing small fell out. Get my finger in there, it's a substantial hole. We will see. So, uh, yeah. Uh, fairly small, you can see my, you know, size of my hand here. Alright. I don't know what the theme is yet, that's part of the excitement. Today's EDC is the new, uh, I believe they call this the rail clip knife from uh, Walmart. Checking out the Walmart knives. Uh, first impressions video, real quick on this, if you're the knife people out there, there's definitely uh, side to side, quite a bit of side to side. Um, a tiny, tiny bit of uh, up and down as well. Not that good, but uh, yeah, you know, is what it is. So let's uh, break into this and see what we got. See the front is over here. Okay. That just slipped right off the tape. <laughs> okay. All right, here we come, battle box. Let's put our Walmart knife away. All right, got our fire starting material, or just annoying packing material, however you look at it. I do not save this and use it for fire starting, FYI. I know you could, but I don't build any fires in my house. So, not, a, not something for me. All right, so, mission 18, fishing box. Ooh, yeah, I love to fish. Gone fishing. That's our sit rep, August 2016. All right, very cool. Very excited about this. A lot of people want more fishing videos. Uh, I do uh, plan to do more fishing before, you know, summer ends. I mean, I, I've gotten busy with lots of other projects, but fishing is definitely on the way. You can see our knife of the month is a buck knife. We will save this for the end. Ooh, got a multi-tool. Right, let's take this, put this over there, best we can. Don't make it too much of a mess. Yeah, let's check out this multi. Oh, all right, we've got lots of knives in here. So, uh, very interesting. I like it. Pretty damn sharp. Looks like we have a scaler on the back. I like it, it's a Morris. Very nice there. See what SOG model this is. It is a power play hex bit kit. Very cool. Definitely going to uh, play around with this one. Let's see uh, some of the key features here. Yeah, it comes with a nice uh, hex bit kit there. Bunch of uh, star bits or torx bits as we call them. Three different Phillips, three different flatheads. Very nice. Wood saw, three sided file. It's got a serrated blade and a straight edge blade, which I really like. Nice uh, combination there. Definitely go for plain edge over serrations, but serrations definitely do have their, their purpose. I like it. Very nice, 8.1 ounces. It's a little hefty, but that's all right. I'm liking it so far. The back here. Another knife. How about that? We'd have to take that off with, it would be better to use the um, multi-tool, but that'll suffice. All right, so what do we have here? Rapala. That's what it was, Rapala. My, my grandfather had uh, two Rapala uh, fillet knives, not this style at all, it's very traditional looking. This one definitely looks a little bit different. I like all the, the uh, skeletonization there, keep all the moisture, water, keep that from staying on your blade. So nice and uh, flexible. You know, I'll tell you what I have to do with all these uh, fillet knives now and uh, whatever else is in this fishing kit. I'll do some fishing and maybe I'll uh, I'll eat one of my catches. I usually throw it back. You know, I'm a catch and release kind of guy. But uh, I may have to go ahead and uh, enjoy some fish on the fire. I like that though. Very nice. Alright, cool. What is this? This is a huge spool of wine. Wow. Okay. And uh, we have a lead here, a swivel, a huge weight. I gotta look this one up. This looks way bigger than what I'm gonna need it for. Let's see what this says here. First of all, let's make sure we have everything. We have Walton's Thumb Fisherman's Multi Tool. Thumb Fisherman's Multi Tool. That's right there. Wow. Wow, look at all this. That's pretty damn cool. I like that a lot. I've never seen this before. Completely new to me. 
That is spiffy. I like that. Very cool. Let's put that to the side for a second. Uh, I just want to skip through and see what the hell this thing is. I know it's lying and all that. Um, survival cord? No. Hmm. Okay, white mechanical auto fisher reel. Times two. That would be these. That's something different. Okay. What is the big yellow one? Six inch Cuban yo yo hand fishing reel. That's what this is. So, I have no idea how this works. You guys can definitely chime in. I've never had a, a yo yo style fishing reel. I mean, I'm assuming you just you throw it out and Maybe put this on your wrist and, and just, you know, reel it in that way. It's basically just a reel, so you're fishing without a rod, is my best guess. All right, anyway, let's move on. <laughs> I hope you guys inform me what the hell that is, and uh, I'm sure I'll like it once I figure out how to use it. All right, so we have some other reels. Very nice. I like it. We got some lures. Sap suckers. Sap sucker lures for fresh water. Very nice. I have something similar to this, but not that color. Eagle claw hooks, which I like. I actually prefer eagle claw. Very good quality hooks. Let's see, we have a, a card. 25% off coupon. There you go, Battle 25 for the Walton's Thumb tool. Let's take another look at that, since I didn't really get a, a good look at it before. So, we have 10 functions. A pincer, clipper, knot tag, crimper, split knot opener, or split shot opener, excuse me, uh, knife, screwdriver, split ring opener, scissors, hook eye cleaner, and lanyard. Now, the split ring opener would be very, very helpful. Um, uh, I can't even tell you how, many, how often I use split rings, but taking things on off my keys constantly and swapping different tools between the different sets of keys I have. I'm constantly opening split rings. It's a huge pain in the butt. I used to have this little tool that was actually, uh, it was made by a, um, a vet. I think it was called the Key Commander or something like that. It was green. You guys might remember from way back when a video, and I don't know what happened to that. I know I put it in my toolbox, can't find it, but that thing was awesome. It slipped right in the, the, the uh, split ring, and then you turned it like a key, and it held it open. But anyway, I like this. This is pretty cool. Looks uh, very helpful. Big fan of helpful things. We got another one of these things with the fishing version. Let's see what this is called again. Ready Man. That's right. Ready Man cards. Nice. So you can pop all those individual pieces out. The weights, the hooks, the saw, scaler. Very interesting. And uh, that is it. So let's take a look and see what buck model this is. All right, Buck, Edge of a Legend. I like it, and of course, made in the U.S. of A. All right, so, yeah, we'll take a peek. We'll take a peek here. This is the, it's written really small. Kinetic Fishing Spear. Hmm. Let's take a peek at that. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so... <laughs> This is uh, definitely interesting. Damn, look at this thing. I have never seen this before. They have a fishing spear. Let's just pop off. Yeah, well, it's tethered on here. Let's see. Okay. Two parts. That has an edge on it. <laughs> This is the first time I'm holding something in a long time that has a sharp edge that I don't know how to use. Go figure. All right, so that definitely has a cutting edge, very sharp cutting edge. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna put this down before I hurt myself. I have to look this up. I'm not embarrassed to admit that uh, I don't know everything about everything. So, yeah. The Buck Fishing Spear. We're definitely going to have to uh, dive deeper into that. So I'm going to have to use the internets like you guys use and figure that out. Uh, interesting. So I suppose the uh, the knife, is they consider that the knife of the month? Let me see. Let me see here. Look at our sit rep. 
Um, Buck Knives Kinetic Fishing Spear, 80 bucks. Oh, okay, the power play is considered the knife of the month because those obviously have a knife. Actually, it's two knives. All right, so there you go. So there's the breakdown of everything. It's very cool. I am super into uh, fishing. Uh, this is actually really nice. Uh, you know, as people who already fish, you, you have hooks, you have some lures. Uh, to be honest, I'm a little disappointed. I thought there would be more lures in here. I mean, there's nothing wrong with these, but I mean, you know, you have a fishing theme loaded up with lures. Give me some Rapalas, give me, give me some jitterbugs or something, you know, hook me up with some, some good lures here. Uh, I like the box. Don't get me wrong. I do like the box. Uh, I don't need two fillet knives. Okay. So, although these are very cool, I would have ditched one of these, doesn't matter which one. Uh, got rid of one and replaced it with a lot more lures. I would have liked that. Or perhaps a, uh, you know, a small spool of, uh, you know, fishing line. Something top notch, you know. So, I do definitely have critiques on this one. Uh, I like it, just definitely not what I expected. The multi-tool is extremely purposeful, especially when you're fishing. I can't even tell you how many times I use pliers. Get that hook out, especially because I do catch and release. I, uh, I don't want to uh, hurt or damage the fish by any means. It's, it's sport for me, it's fun. Uh, I, you know, it's nice to know that if I need to survive, I can do that and catch fish and eat them. Um, but uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm totally beside myself on that spear. No idea what's going on with that yet, so I'll have to look, that, look into it, look it up, figure it out, and I'll, uh, I'll get back to you guys in the future on how that spear works. Uh, it's certainly interesting. All right guys, so I'm back for a second here. Uh, figured out how to use this spear. There's no uh, instructions per se in there, but I should have looked at this inside the box. It does say the operating instructions can be found on their website. Okay, so there you go. But I did a quick uh, YouTube search, and the first video I saw was uh, Two Brothers Adventure, which uh, two awesome guys. I, I had the pleasure of meeting them at uh, SHOT Show. Um, really, really nice guys, and they make awesome videos. And speaking of it, it was either SHOT Show or Blade Show, but they did a uh, booth type uh, demo uh, on their channel. So that's how I figured out how this uh, thing works. So the, uh, the tips have uh, sheaths on them, okay, because these are sharpened at like a 90 degree angle. So they are sharp, okay, on the edges and the bottom and the top. All right, so this is actually two pieces. So this goes like this, okay. And it kind of locks in place, but there's, you see these notches here, so you use the all the extra cord you get on the sheath system, paracord, and you wrap this nice and tight. That keeps that nice and tight there. And the purpose of this uh, chisel on the bottom here is to bang this down into your stick, your, your spear handle, so to speak. All right, having this sharpened, it'll be easy to drive that down deep into wood, and then of course you can lash it together again with the extra paracord. So there's three different ones in the series of spears. This is the largest, this is the two piece. This thing is massive. This is a huge, basically like frog gig. All right, you can probably uh, get away with uh, sticking a lot of different things with this thing. That's massive. That's like a, I don't know, it's like a scepter. <laughs> so very interesting. I highly doubt I'm gonna use this uh, for its intended purpose. I will play with it. I probably will assemble it into a spear and throw it at things, but probably not animals. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, but that is definitely interesting. Uh, I think after seeing the other ones in the series, I would have preferred the small one. They have one where it's just a, uh, you know, like a drop point, you know, and it has the chisel on the back part so you can drive that right into, uh, you know, your wood to make more of a traditional type spear. This is more of like a gig. And they have like a medium sized one, which is basically a smaller, one piece like frog egg but it's i think it's more narrow definitely interesting definitely definitely interesting it's not something i would ever buy uh which you know you could say is a good you know good thing a pro or a con you say hey man you know you never would have bought it would have waste the money uh well it's interesting i get exposed to all these different gear i'll use this to trade i'll trade with someone for something i do want you know what i mean definitely uh definitely different though and what i like about again and i say this probably every single uh, unboxing of these battle boxes is I get exposed to gear that I never knew uh, existed. I never knew about this. You know what I mean? I, I try to stay, uh, you know, in touch with what comes out and all these different companies and stuff, but uh, this one got away from me. Never saw this before until just now. So interesting. Definitely interesting. So that's all. Just want to give you a quick explanation as to what that thing was. Since I didn't know, some of you guys didn't know either, I'm sure. 
Now we all know. How about that? <laughs> so thanks for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you soon. Take care.